So here he is, one of the more prolific takedown artists in the UFC at present. And when you get some praise from Daniel Cormier, when it comes to your offensive takedown game, you know you're doing something well. If you talk about wrestlers and judo players and grapplers, but this guy just combines all of that. He is able to use foot scoops in the grappling game. He is able to use throws from judo, and he's able to use wrestling in the, from the wrestling game to take people down. He has an array of takedowns at his disposal, and he uses every single one of them from the speed of the level change to the timing to the knowledge of where to go next. When the guy starts to fit, he's truly, truly something special. I don't think he can take you down, but tonight he doesn't have to. So he does not in have this to. matchup, prevailing wisdom is he'll be able to get this fight to the place. It was the speed, it was the charisma, it was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's gonna look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Bruce Lee, ladies and gentlemen, Bruce Epping himself in another big spot here tonight. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. All right, now for the official introductions. We go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> your referee, Ready. he's the third man in the octagon Ready. tonight. Good. Well, what a visual this is. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one, the founding father of modern mixed martial arts. It's hard to simulate his speed and his striking in training, and I think that's something that has been a big focus for the opponent coming in here tonight. Quick with his hands, quick with his feet, and obviously a guy who gets off to a very good start more often than not. Bruce Lee ready to go for round one. Superman punch lands. Nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. Nice punch to the head. Back and forth we go. Huge Superman punch. Oh, another blistering combination there. Really starting to do a nice job stringing the shots together. And you can see the damage in his opponent's body. His face, his body, his legs. He's beating him up on all the targets. It's not one guy just headhunting. He is finding every opening that is presented to him. Strike to the head, lands. 
Just over two minutes to go in the round. Oh, nice takedown defense. Oh, the separation of the clinch. Going to the sidekick. Oh, that's a nice strike. Oh, he's done bad. He's got to grab him. He's got to recover. Oh, huge spinning kick. Just out of range with that right hook. Under a minute to go. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack, not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now, and it's starting to show itself. Oh, Superman punch! Second round, straight ahead. Stop, stop, stop. Well, what a round it was. Daniel Cormier, you are one of the greatest mixed martial arts athletes of all time. I'm not sure you can do a Superman punch like that, though. With my luck, I would try to push off and my foot would be slippery, wet <laughs> or something. I would fall right into a knee. No, I would not try that. I don't have that ability. I'm not that free inside the octagon. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, next round is now underway. Hopefully the action. Oh, huge connection by him there. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Big oh. left hand. <laughs> Doing work with the jab there. Oh, big shot, man. And he caught the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, so oh. Massive left hand. Big right hand. Trying to kick the leg out. And he blocked the punch there. Man has his chin been tested early. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Well, a really good second round for him thus far after a somewhat lackluster first round. He has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. All right, well, you can still attack the thigh, right? We talk so much about calf kicks, but that's been a pretty effective weapon for him here tonight. It's traditional. It's a traditional leg kick. Just throwing your hip, bang, whipping it into the thigh. Beautifully done by this fight. Well, lands a good series of kicks there, DC. It really didn't take him long to get a good beat on his opponent. He figured the timing, now he's been driving kick after kick into his opponent. Nice display of technique by him there on the side kick. Now we'll see if he can follow it up. Very traditional technique that a lot of guys are using now in the UFC. You can catch a body kick, but you gotta step off to the side. You just can't take it clean. Under 90 seconds to go here in the second round. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. All right, let's go. Let's get those hands going now. I love that one. I love when the guy throws a kick with that much power. Body kick lands. All right, so he continues to land a high volume of strikes. He talked to us a lot about pace and pressure. He has certainly kept up his end of the bar. I mean, the cardio is fantastic tonight. He is pushing at a level that we have not seen him fight before. This is shades of Colby Covington, Max Holloway, those guys that can fight all night. He is showing you that he's had a huge strike right there. I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. 
good patience out there, man. You did great. Your striking looks amazing. Keep your hands up and stay sharp. You're out working. All right, let's take a look back at some of the highlights from those previous five minutes, DC. And uh, no padding, no glove on that foot. No glove, no padding. And look at the hip action when he throws those kicks. He's not only kicking just for feel, he's really trying to damage his opponent. And as the fight goes longer, you will start to see it taking effect. You ready to fight? Ready. Third yeah. round underway. All right, here we go with the start of another round. Pretty good previous two rounds, I thought. Yeah, it's been a very competitive fight for this point. Both guys have had their moments, especially in these last two rounds. You expect somebody to get ahead, but they've both been so evenly matched. We're still right where we started. All right, so a nice straight punch there after he caught the leg. He decides to punch out as opposed to going for any takedown. Game of inches right there. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Oh, you land, I land. Is that what we're doing here? Well, he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down tonight. He continues to connect on a high volume of strikes here. Good jab. Going with the kick to the body, but unable to find the range. Well, champ, I don't see that well, but it's hard to miss the redness underneath that elbow. A lot of bodily investment from his opponent tonight. Yeah, it's an investment. John, it may not pay dividends right now, but the more you go there, the more damage you do eventually, it will show itself. Right now, it's starting to show. Circling away towards the left now. Back kick there. Looking too good right now. It's not quite Dominic Reyes against Jan Bohovic, but these body strikes really starting to add up. They're starting to pay dividends. You know, he spoke to us about this earlier in the week, how he was going to eat this guy up from bottom to top. He was going to go in reverse. That is exactly what he has done. Nice jab. Strike to the body, continuing to invest there, and some bruising starting to develop. Well, John, you can tell they had a game plan. Invest in the body early, and let's see how it pays down the line. Right now, you can start to see it's paying dividends. One minute to go in the round. just continues to pour it on. He has been aggressive all night long with his striking. Got to be careful here to not empty the gas tank. So far, so good, though, in this round. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he looks to try to chase down everything. So he heads back to the stool after a dominant round. Great round there from Lee. Do not come down at the end of that round. That was great, OK? He's ready to go. I want you to go out there. All right, so there's the end of the round. Few things in MMA more devastating than a head kick and nearly produced a knockout for him there. We talked to him earlier in the week, and he talked about chances to take the kicks high. He got a chance, he took it, he landed that kick and almost got the fight finished. Let's see if he can go and do that again. You ready to fight? Ready. Go we ahead. have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh! You cannot take too many of those. Unable to connect with a right hook. Big body kick. That 
was a big check. Well, no feeling out process tonight. Both fighters invoking damage on the other DC. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Just misses with that one. Got that single collar tie. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad. Oh! He's got to try to finish here. He ate that kick. He took that whole kick, yep. Oh! There it is again. Look at that. Well, you can see his leg is hurt here, starting to limp a little bit. I think Magomed Ankalaev is the guy we point to for exuding all of that toughness when he absorbed those leg kicks, but don't want to take too many more of those. But like Magomed, you want to try to get takedowns. You cannot be on your feet limping and turning away from strikes. You got to try and change something. Man, he is so sound defensively. Nice job to raise the guard there. It's the relaxation that allows him to see things coming and block most of the strikes that are coming at him. Oh, and he tags him with the straight, beautifully placed there by Lee. Well, earlier in the round, he clearly got stunned by his opponent, but he just has not responded well at all. He hasn't responded well. He hasn't gotten himself back going after getting hurt so bad early in the round. Oh. Horn sounds for the end of round four. All right, man, take a seat. Three. Listen, that was awesome. You really hurt him there. I need more of that. I want you to go out at the beginning of this round and be a... All right, now we take a look back at some of the highlights. He has had his kicking game going early and often tonight. I mean, on point, right? He knew that this was going to be a way for him to take control of this fight. He's used those kicks to really put him out ahead. And I'm not sure if his opponent has the ability to adjust and stop him from landing these over and over. Ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at this fifth and final round. Oh, man. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. He does everything so well. And he's so calm. He's so calm in the face of such a big spot. Oh, beautiful head movement. Slips there. They're so evenly matched. They're going to the tat. Oh, another beautiful body shot there. You see the damage starting to accumulate. Maybe some defense would be wise at this point in fight. I think so, John. You can't just get beat up to the body. It doesn't show itself right away. It takes time whenever you're beating somebody up from the body and working your way up to the head. But right now, we're starting to see the damage, and you see it not only in the body, but in the reactions of the opponent. Well-placed kick there by Lee. Would you look at the size of that bruise on his body? His opponent will likely continue to attack. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's going to lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's got to pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You got to just start letting everything fly. Just missed. I need you to keep pushing forward. Fast jab lands in. Good 
Oh, a huge block there. One minute to go in the fight. Great punch. Well-timed with that. So I'm going to hit you, and then you hit me. Back and forth we go. This is one of the best fights I've called all year. Yeah, one of the best fights. And it, it, the, the blood, the injuries only add to the intrigue. It only adds to who's going to continue down the path and get the hand raised. Both of these guys are... Oh, what a finish to this one as we go the full 25 minutes. Stand and cheer, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. All right, the official decision is now in. Here is Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest. 49-46. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee! So the legend Bruce Lee does it again. That was a prime performance out of the martial arts legend tonight. This man, of course, has had no shortage of challengers since coming to the UFC. And more often than not, he has had an answer for all 